All right, so here we are. We're going to make a uh, piece of harness material for greater sage grouse. Um, here I've got a quarter inch tubular Teflon ribbon that I ordered from Bally Ribbon and Twine. Comes in these big rolls. Um, here you can see it's quarter inch. Um, that's the size I like to use. You're going to need to get elastic material. This is just regular elastic that I got at the sewing store. And you want it a little less than a quarter inch so it can fit inside the tubing um, and slide easily inside of it. If you get quarter inch elastic, then it, you'll have a tough time fitting it inside the tubing. Um, I like to use, this is a rot proof upholstery thread. Um, so when, the stitch, when we put the stitching in, it won't come apart. And I cut about a 15 inch piece of the tubular Teflon and about a three inch piece of the elastic. The first thing we're gonna do is burn the edges of the elastic. As you can see, after you cut them, they start to fray. We don't want that to fray too much. So we'll just burn the rubber a little bit so it stays. It doesn't fray once we sew it in. And then the easiest way to do this is if you get um, this piece of thread, you want it long enough where it'll go through the entire piece of Teflon. Just go right in the edge and you could just tie this, it's fine. We'll end up ripping this out later so it doesn't need to be um, very tight, but you want it not to slide. Just give it a single, a normal double knot is fine. Okay, now we're ready to pull it through our tubular Teflon. Just go through the needle and then in the end of the Teflon, just feed it in. And if you kind of go back and forth sideways, you won't go through the end of it. And you just work this all the way up through the Teflon. If you go back, just go back out, you can. Again, work it sideways so you're not going through the Teflon. Okay. Once we do that, hopefully your string's still attached. And now we pull the end into the Teflon. You can just hold on to the edge of the Teflon a little bit. Sometimes it helps to have three hands. And we pull it in. And you can see the edge is right there. We want the edge to be down a little bit so you can have room to crimp it when you put it on your transmitter. So if you go down about an inch or so, maybe even a little more, inch and a half. So now my edge is down here. That's about good. 
and this will want to stitch, put stitching in right at the edge there. So you need to cut yourself another piece of upholstery thread. scissors than I do. And what I do, the easiest way to do this is just to double it up and then do an overhand knot here. Single overhand knot's fine. This won't come out. Trim off your excess. And then right below the edge where you burned it, you just go in, you go back through. Because you made your knot, you could just go through that and that'll hold it. And then stitch this a bunch of times. This you don't want coming out. knot in here. Just going through once, going through again. That'll hold it. Maybe one more just for safety's sake. So half of this is done. Trim off the edge. So now here, um, get your thread ready because you're going to need it right away. Again, I'm just putting an overhand knot in the doubled over upholstery thread. Trim off the excess. So you hold this piece and you pull on your string that's still hanging out the other end. As you do that, the elastic comes. You don't want to do this too tight because you definitely don't want the string to break. But then you can just hold on to that end and as you see it creates this elastic piece. I'm going to go a little more here. Get a little more elastic. There we go. So now we've got um, probably about a one inch stretch in here. So if you have a hemostat, this would be a good spot to use it. You can actually just put your hemostat right above the edge. And if you don't have a hemostat, that's fine. You just have to be careful to hold on to it. and stitch this end just like we did the other end. And I'm going a couple of millimeters above the end of the Teflon, or not, sorry, not the Teflon, I'm going a couple of millimeters above the elastic, where the elastic ends, um, because we're going to end up pulling out that thread that was inside of it and you don't want it to fray where your stitch is and potentially come out. So you put a few stitches in here, tie it just like we did the other side, going through my loop once, going through my loop twice, and there we have it. We'll do one more safety. Trim off our excess. And now what you can do is glue these knots. Make sure they stay. You typically want them on both on the same side and you want these on the outside of the bird so they're not abrasive. And the last thing you can do is just take it and pull your string out. And now you're left with one side for your transmitter. You can do that um, for both sides and then attach it um, as we'll show in the next video with copper crimps. But that's how you make the elastic quarter inch Teflon 
harness material for grouse and chickens.